silly human. Look at me. Look at me. What do you see? A bunch of trees, some brush, some grass, and a few springs that you plan to drain to develop your precious real world. Think about this. I am reality. And your real world is just a tiny fraction of me that exists as a parasite on me. I am life on earth and you never would have existed without me. Some would call me the hand of God and you intend again to bite the hand that feeds you. And for what? A bigger number in your bank? I'm a bank too. I'm a bank of life's genetics options. And if you kill me you lose those options. I realize you need water, but I need it more than you do. I won't build towering hotels that you'll probably tear down in 50 years, but I will build towering trees that together will last for thousands if not millions of years. I am life on earth. You are a part of life on earth. And if you kill me, you will kill a part of yourself. What does the land need? What is the land? Some may say it is simply rock and sand, which only needs time and space to exist. But sitting here, I can see the swamp cedars are part of the land. The roots merge with the soil, water, and sky. In every direction, the land grows. Green beings, wild irises, blue-eyed grass, shooting stars, that's a pink, little pink flower, and more. And what about the butterflies, blue and golden? They are connected to the land through the flowers, the meadow larks sing in the trees, the blackbirds perch in the cattails, the antelope and coyote too are here somewhere. Um, even us humans pause here in our seasonal gatherings. We're all part of the land. The land is alive with all of us. What do we need? We need the rain and snow. We need it to keep falling. We need the water to keep bubbling from the ground. And we all need to feed each other. Every life here nourishes other life. And that's where I stopped. My last thought that I didn't finish was, it, I think the land wants us to stay there. They want and to live our lives and die there and live our leave our bones there. And that the, like thinking about the water grab, they want to take the water and they don't want to give back. They don't want to live there. They don't want to. Oh, Amber. It's just, it's wrong. It's like they're, they want to break the rules of the land. Like everybody else is giving back some way. I mean, you see bones out there when you're walking around and even the cows and the sheep have given back. So that's, that's what I found. What do I need? The songs that let light saturate the soil and feed me for another year. The human sweetness that touches me always so tenderly. The, love, the way blades of love, or the way blades of grass make love, the way the bird's song gently sets you straight, the way the gentle wind lets you know that we are together now. I don't have need for much, my dear. Look around, and you'll see that that's true. But we miss you, sweet humans, we do. I miss tiny feet attempting to reach my top branches even if, they, if it, even if it makes me crack in the, my weathered age. The songs and the colors you all adorn life with and share so abundantly with the world. A feast for the senses of an old tree like me. The gentle way you come and ask for help when one of you has fallen so tired and so ill. When I get to be your shelter, your medicine, your dance partner. You humans have a love so profound it makes me fruit it makes me stop and start you feel the wind and you know that you are with me I don't know where you've all gone it seems so dark with you all now as though the wind had stopped and lost and you got lost and abandoned I pray for the sweetness of the humans to return I pray for the look of love to be restored in your eyes, that someday you'll see yourselves as I see you, as we all see you, 
powerful bits of light that illuminate the roots of each being and love them into life. For, at least as long as the story has gone, humans have been such a blessed gift to us. They touch us with the intention and with purpose and with love. They seek us and see us and hold us. I ask that the humans remember that they are special to us. I love you, dear, very much. Please, please give your daughter my name and teach her all that I have shared. When you feel the wind blow, know that we are together then. All I need is for humans to be happy the way they used to be. Sing again, won't you? Okay, sada, sada, whatever will be, will be. The future is not ours to see. Okay, sada. What do you need? I asked the land. And there were the small bubbles of the springs in the bottom of Spring Valley. The closer I listened, I could hear the small whispers of water evaporating from juniper branches. And as that water took its own small leap into the sky, it pulled up water from the juniper's branches. Through, the, through those juniper branch through those juniper branches I could see across the basin floor rain clouds and above those rain clouds I could see snow on the mountain. What do you need? I asked the land and in short I heard water. But it's impossible for me to hear water and not hear threats to the water. I thought of the way snow in the place I live probably won't won't fall in the next 50 years. I thought of the way that that climate change kills trees and it's through it's through a process called cavitation. That same water that leaps from the juniper branches into the sky and pulls water from the, the roots in the ground, it runs out and air bubbles form in the same circulation system that trees with humans and when trees die from drought they're actually dying from a heart attack and as I walked around thinking about about those threats to water I found myself face to face with with a Rocky Mountain juniper mysteriously unexplainably at the bottom of, of Spring Valley um, a place where modern scientists can't, can't explain how it got there. And as I looked at that Rocky Mountain Juniper, thought about water and thought about the threats to water, I asked, what do you need? And that tree said, I need it to stop. I need you to stop this. How? How, you ask? Don't ask the land. You are the destroyers. Our storms may be violent, but our trees here are not tall enough to knock down the power lines. Our snow is not deep enough to bury the roads. Our water is not swift enough to carry away the fences. You have two hands, a keen mind, swift feet. Put them to use. We will feed you and shelter you and give you peace. But your human creations are yours, yours to build, yours to destroy. You know what we will do. We will grow as we always have and keep growing until we cannot. But this is your battle. We simply need you to win. <laughs>